All right. And of course, uh, related to that story is the report of the control of budget that has really revealed several details in as far as the expenditure of resources. But we start by looking at where we are as a country. Remember that in June last year, Parliament passed a new debt ceiling of 10 trillion shillings that was supposed to take the country up to June 2024. It was supposed to give the government borrowing room for the deficit of that particular year. But we have actually hit the ceiling in less than uh, the period that had been estimated because in June 2020, by June 2023, the control of budget says that we have hit 10.25 trillion shillings, meaning that we have already exceeded the ceiling by some 250 billion shillings. What more is happening in the debt sector? We know that at the moment, the government plans to borrow up to 718 billion shillings, of course, split between the foreign borrowing, which is about 402 billion shillings, and the local borrowing or domestic borrowing at 316 billion shillings. That should be for the current financial year. So if that remains, and you add it to the current debt accumulation of 10.25 trillion shillings, it might take us to 10.97 trillion shillings by June next year. Remember again, the ceiling was supposed to be 10 trillion shillings by that time. But what is happening? The government is changing the policy of how debt is managed in the country because um, there is a proposal to anchor debt on the GDP, meaning 55% of the GDP. At the moment, according to the figures we have from the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, the GDP of the country, according uh, as of December 2022, was 13.4 trillion shillings. It may have changed as of now. So 55% of that GDP would leave us at some 7.37 trillion shillings. Again, remember, we have already exceeded this by nearly 3 trillion shillings. Uh, so one wonders how will that work when that ceiling is put. Now, something else that is, is important to note is that uh, there is a euro bond that is due next year. It is worth 2 billion US dollars. It has to be paid by June 2024. This was taken some 10 years ago, or nine years ago. It will be 10 years next year in June. But at this time, one US dollar is going for 147 shillings, 14 cents, according to the Central Bank of Kenya. So if you convert, it is equivalent to 294 billion shillings. But by the time that euro bond was being taken in 2014, the exchange rate of the dollar was some 87 shillings, meaning it was taken at the rate of 175 billion shillings. So when you hear the government saying that forex changes are affecting the amount of debt, especially the foreign debt, this is what they mean. That a loan was taken at 175 billion shillings in 2014, it will be paid back at at least 294 billion shillings considering the current exchange rate against the dollar. Now, something else that is important to note is that uh, according to the control of budget, she has looked at the expenditure across government and realized that the total expenditure was 3.18 trillion shillings. But out of that, 85%, more than that, more than 85%, which is 2.71 trillion shillings, went to recurrent expenditure. These are personnel emoluments or salaries, if you like, allowances, maintenance and operations of running the government. And development expenditure was only 473 billion shillings, which is the lowest in, uh, in, the, three, in the past three years. So this settles at 14.8%, which is lower than 15% that we were in the previous year. So the PFM Act, that is uh, Public Finance Management Act, uh, says that uh, or recommends that at least 30% should be spent on development expenditure. We've already missed that by more than 15%. To be specific, 15.2%. And of course, this has been declining since the year 2019, when more than 600 billion shillings were spent on development expenditure. Now, these are the top development spenders in the government. The roads department spent 87 billion shillings in the year ended June 2023. The national treasury spent 64 billion shillings in some development programs, uh, most of them capital transfers. The water and irrigation, water sanitation and irrigation department has spent up to 45.8 billion shillings. And the economic planning, which is the state department under the National Treasury uh, Ministry, spent some 45.2 billion shillings on development expenditure. But if, if you want to know about the recurrent expenditure, the leading was Teacher Service Commission that spent 298 billion shillings uh, to pay basically the teachers, uh, the teaching fraternity. The Defense Ministry spent 135 billion shillings. Interior Department spent 108 billion shillings. Of course, these are basically uh, to finance the um, personnel emoluments of uh, uh, the security sector in the defense, but also in the interior. Basic Education spent 103 billion shillings for recurrent, and the Health Ministry was 68.9 billion shillings. Now, for travel expenditure, remember that Felix. Koske, the head of public service, is raising an alarm that there's so much money being spent on travel. It was 
1.3 billion shillings for the financial year ended June 2023. Out of that, 14 billion was domestic, meaning moving across the country from county to county. For foreign, it was 6.3 billion shillings going to different uh, nations, uh, whether it's in Africa, in the region, or beyond uh, to the rest of the world. But it is important to note uh, that this is the presidency. The past one year, this is the much they have spent. The total expenditure for the office, the executive office of the president was 20 billion shillings. Part of that went to hospitality at 2.3 billion shillings. This is welcoming uh, visitor, uh, visitors that come, of course, accommodating them. The employees' compensation for the executive office of the president was 5.3 billion shillings. The domestic travel for the executive office of the president, which is the highest uh, when you look at uh, the various offices, was 1 billion shillings. For the foreign travel, the past 12, um, for the 12 months ended, ending June 2023, was 361.7 million shillings. Let's compare that with the office of the deputy president because it is totally different because the total expenditure remember for the president 20 billion for the office of the deputy president 927 million shillings of this foreign travel has been 40.7 million shillings and the local travel has been 63 million shillings for the office of the president it has been 1 billion shillings for the office of the prime cabinet secretary this is how it looks for the foreign travel 21.5 million shillings for the local travel 72.8 million shillings. Of course, this is an office that was established on the 27th of October 2022 when he was sworn in as the Prime Cabinet Secretary. But Parliament appears to have spent the lion's share of the foreign travel and domestic travel because, for instance, the uh, Parliamentary Service Commission spent 1 billion shillings on local travel. 937 million shillings on foreign travel. The National Assembly itself, 4.8 billion shillings in local travel, 1.5 billion shillings in foreign travel, and parliamentary joint services spent 320 million shillings for local and 423 million shillings for foreign travel. Of course, it gets you to 9.1 billion shillings. So if you have to look at that, then you see more than 50% has gone to financing uh, the offices of the president, parliament, as well as uh, deputy president and the prime cabinet secretary. This is how the hospitality expenditure looks like. Remember that there has been conversations about austerity measures. The entire government spent 8.64 billion shillings for hospitality. The presidency taking about 27% of that, which was 2.34 billion shillings. The IABC, of course, had a, an election and so many guests coming around that needed also to be taken care of, 2.12 billion shillings. And the judiciary, this should actually be 454 million shillings, not a billion, as that suggests. And that is a data point tonight, as you get to understand the expenditure that was taken by the government across different departments for now.